Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to talk about the 3D world, specifically how you can grab multiple components at once using a tool connected to a robot. So the setup is very similar to using signal actions, and if you haven't already, I do recommend you watch part two of the basics of working with robots video that's available in our community, because that completely covers all signal actions, such as tracing, grabbing and releasing objects, as well as mounting and dismounting tools. So let's go and get started. Right now I've set up a RSL routine in the robot to perform a pick task. So you can see it over here in the teach tab called pick place. What will happen is the robot will go to position one first. We'll then go to an approach position. It will go down to pick up the objects. Notice I'm using a set binary output statement to grab the objects. And then it's retracting up. So if I reset and run the simulation, notice I created a pattern of components in the table and I want the robot to pick them up. So let's go ahead and stop this and reset. So now to set up the multi-grasp action, I can select the robot, go to the Param tab, and you need to go to a tab called Signal Actions. There you can find a property called Multi-Grasp, and go and enable this property, and now you're good to go. So basically the component, uh, the robot and the tool, will now grab multiple components at once based on the detection volume area of the tool frame you're using. So in my RSL routine, I'm using an external tool. I'll go and turn that on right now for you in the 3D world. So you can see it here. Let me get a better view for you. So this is the tool frame I'm using. So if I want to change the detection volume area, as well as the tool I'm going to use to perform the grab, I'll click the configure button here to access the action script behavior. So here's the editor for the behavior and I'll use signal one and I'll change the tool frame to double tool one. And here's this detection volume size I was talking about earlier. I'll go ahead and leave it as it is right now just to show you. So I'll go ahead now and run the simulation and get a better view. There are the components. The robot moves into strike. All right, and it picks one component. However, I want to pick more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and modify the detection volume area. So I'll reset. I'll click the configure button again to access the editor. And let's go ahead and use a detection volume area of 300 by 300 on the X and Y axis. So I'll go back to signal one. I'll change this to 300 and the Y to 300 and click OK. So now if I run the simulation again, Let's see what happens. All right, and now I've got a bunch of components grabbed. Oh boy. So let's get a little bit more tricky with what we grab. So I'll reset and click the configure button again. I'm now going to grab three components in a single row. So I'll just use a Y value here. So I'll go to signal one. I'll go and set the X value to be, eh, let's just make it zero and Y at 300. click OK. So now if I run it again, I'm now going to show you a different approach to grabbing multiple components and this approach is sometimes the preferred method. What it involves is using signals 1 through 17 and the tool frames that are already pre-programmed to do those signal actions. For example in the action configuration map I can show you Notice that signal two is already programmed to use tool frame two's position and its detection volume size here. So a simple way is simply to translate the location of tool two to grab components. So I'll go and show you that now. So I'll cancel this and I'll go to the teach tab. And notice I've already grabbed the three components using double tool one frame. And now from the tool property menu here, I'll select tool two. I'll click the flat menu button here and I'll translate tool two to be at the bottom of this cube here. So I'll do the snap positions and I'll snap to the bottom face center here. Now one important thing to remember when using tool frames is to make sure the Z direction of the object is correct because that Z direction is what's going to determine the detection volume area that you create. So I'm going to change the coordinate system to object right now in the dynamic toolbar and my Z direction is good to go. It's facing the cubes. So it's going to create that Z direction down and then create the detection area. So now let's go ahead and set up this program. So I'll use translate tool and let's go and snap to the top face surface and the orientation. 
of this cube here, like so. Create a linear motion down to pick it up. I'll use the set binary output statement. And instead of signal 1, I'll use signal 2, which is going to use tool frame 2. And then I'll go ahead and lift up, like so. Create another position. And I'll just halt the simulation to see how it all turns out. So I'll go ahead and turn the frames off for you so you can see everything. So the robot moves into strike. It goes down. It picks up three components. And notice it picked up that one component there. Alright, this concludes the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our community at community.visualcomponents.net. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.